Hey, what's up? John Sanmez from simpleprogrammer.com. So I actually got a video question from Aaron here. And if you didn't see, I did a video here. I'll put it here about that I'm accepting some video questions. To I'm going to try this format and see how this works. So if you have a question for me, if you want to do a video, uh, you know, then s submit it to me, send it to me. And I, I'm not going to be able to do every single video that I get, especially as I start, I get a lot of emails and it's growing every day, but, uh, but I try to reply to as many as possible and I do a lot of videos. So, uh, there's a good chance that I'll do one for you. But anyway, uh, let me know if you like this format also when you, when you see this video. So here's Aaron. Hey John. Uh, Hey, also YouTube, if I happen to make it on, um, my question is actually pretty straightforward. Um, my situation is that I'm 25, uh, I'm married. Uh, we have no kids yet, um, and I recently decided to drop out of a two-year associate's program in software development. And the reason I decided to do this was because the two-year didn't really transfer anywhere. Um, the skills that we were learning seemed outdated and uh, only slightly applicable, and the pace at which we were moving was painfully slow. Um, I was actually supplementing myself uh, to learn more faster um, through Treehouse and Code Academy and Code School and all those sorts of places. Um, and I really enjoyed it. So I thought to myself, well, if I'm enjoying this, I'm learning more and I'm learning faster on my own, maybe I ought to just self teach. So my simple, straightforward question is Am I crazy? Um, thankfully, a friend of mine has uh, stepped in and offered to mentor me. Uh, and has been talking to me about the possibility of bringing me on in about six months if I can learn the stack, the technology stack that they're using. Um, but outside of that, I don't really have any prospects. Um, so I was wondering if you had any advice, any comments uh, for me specifically um, or for people in my situation specifically. I know that there are a lot of trade schools and sort of two-year schools out there that offer software development degrees um, and they're all over the spectrum as far as relevance and actual usefulness uh, so yeah uh, just let me know what you think and uh, thanks so much for taking time all right Aaron so here's what what I would say uh, in your situation so this is good I think you know it, it's interesting so you've left your two-year associates program because it wasn't you weren't learning fast enough and you figured out that you could learn on your own perfect that's awesome because that's really what you need to learn in life is that you can you need to learn how to teach yourself I think that's way more important like you know so many people expect education to be something that happens to them or that they pay some money and do something and now they're quote educated and that's not true in reality like in real life in the real world you learn things by teaching yourself. There's very few situations where someone is just going to teach you something or you're going to be able to pay some money to learn something. It's going to take your initiative. You're going to have to do it. I mean, even in school, right, you're really not going to learn unless you are applying yourself. No one can make you learn. You are responsible for your own education. So it's good that you found this, and I, and I totally agree with this. The, and, and the pace is the, the other thing that you, you'll find, you know, I've gotten a lot of people that said, well, my college courses or whatever were, were very slow paced and, and they're teaching me outdated technology. And, you know, th honestly, probably a lot of professors are doing the best that they can do, but they have to teach a lot of traditional education requires them to teach the lowest common denominator. And unfortunately, you know, for a lot of people that that's not going to be fast enough so, and you can do better on your own. Now, with that said, uh, the other thing that's really good, I'd say, is that, I mean, you've got someone that's willing to mentor you and possibly bring you on, like, in six months if you can learn a stack. Like, to have someone willing to mentor you that knows, the, the, you know, that's pretty dang valuable. So that's pretty awesome because a lot of people that are already doing something are too busy. So if, if you've got that opportunity, you're, you're in a good place. I think you're making the right choice. I don't think you're crazy. I think you, this totally makes sense. Uh, so long as you can self-motivate. Now, here's the difference. This is where, where, you know, sometimes the traditional education might make sense for some people to pay money to be, and I, I, it's going to sound a little harsh, but some people need to pay money to be babysat. They need to pay money in order to have someone tell them exactly what to do and when to do it and then do it, you know, and 
if that's you, then college is going to be a better place because you're going to get the structure and someone's going to tell you what you need to learn and when you need to read this and, and, and test you on material. But if you can be self-motivated and you don't need that and you can stay motivated and do what you're supposed to do and learn on your own and you know do, regulate yourself, then then you're you're going to find first of all that you're you're going to have a lot more possibility and you're going to find that to be a lot more valuable but that's the key is you got to be able to you know some people drop out of school because they don't feel like doing it right they don't feel like doing the work and they're looking for something easier if that's you then it's a bad choice it doesn't sound like you i'm just saying this for the benefit cuz obviously a lot of a lot of people watch these YouTube videos, right? And so I'm saying for, the, for, for those of you that are watching this video, you know who you are. You're, if you're trying to try, take the shortcut, trying to take the lazy way out, it's not going to work. It's harder work to teach yourself, but it's better. It's more rewarding, and it's going to last you longer. You're going to get a better opportunities out of that. So in your case, Aaron, I think, like I said, if you're doing this for the right reasons, you're making the smart choice, but you got to take this all the way, right? It's going to be easier honestly, to get a degree or to get a job if you have a degree, if you don't, even if you don't know anything, right? Because that's at least a piece of paper that even if you didn't learn a lot that someone can say, well, you, you have this degree. It's, it's harder to get a job when you teach yourself and you don't have the degree, but you're going to, you have the potential to learn a lot more and to be a lot more valuable to a company so you can find a better job if that, that makes sense to you. So you have to take advantage of this opportunity and you have to work a little harder than someone who gets their degree, but that's fine because you should be able to do that, right? And you should be willing to do that. And if you're willing to do that and if you're willing to pay that price and you're willing to work as hard as you can with this person that is mentoring you and learn the stack, you're going to be successful and this is going to be a good thing. But if you're not, then you know then it's it's not going to work out for you because you you've got to learn this the it's nice that we're in this profession as software developers where i mean i'm not going to say that degrees don't matter cuz cuz they do but but you're primarily judged on your ability right and and even if some companies will say oh no you have to have a degree there's always going to be opportunities for developers that don't have degrees that can prove that they know their stuff because there's there's plenty of there's so many development jobs out there that if you can show that you know your stuff then then you're going to be in good shape but what i would say is definitely work as hard as you can learn the stack learn from this person self teach as much as you can how, try to have a clear focus of what kind of developer what kind of stack you're going to go after and actually build some apps build some sample apps build you know i always talk about building like mobile apps or something or a web app or something to show that you actually have this skill and this ability and i mean you might even be able to go down an entrepreneurial road if that's if that's something you're interested in uh, so, Aaron, thanks for doing the for sending this video. Hopefully, this helps you, and uh, I wish you the best. And uh, yeah, I, I don't think you're crazy at all. I just think you, you you've made this choice. Now you have to live with it. So now you have to you know do your best and and really apply yourself here to teaching yourself. I mean, this this could be a really good thing for you if you take advantage of this opportunity. So thanks again. And uh, if you've got a video for me, a question, you know, send it to me at john at simpleprogrammer.com. And, uh, and if you like this, this format, uh, let me know. Take care.